and prospective Dr. Garrick Mayweather. Also joining us on remote is Coastal Advisor CEO Rich Big Daddy Salgado and in our studio our own Jared Max. Good to see everybody. Garrick, good to see you. Good Congratulations. Morning, this is fantastic you. for you. Let's start with your goals. Okay. Um, Football well, and medicine. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, so I was a pre-med student at Fordham. Actually, I'm finishing up uh, this May. My graduation is on the 21st. Um, but yeah, I've always wanted to be a doctor. Um, I wanted to go into orthopedics. Uh, so originally, uh, I want to go to med school eventually and possibly be a team doctor, uh, just to stay around the sport and stuff like that. Um, but you know, in the last few years, I've been blessed with the opportunity to actually uh, elongate my pro my football career as well. You know, I've been picking up steam here the last two years on the football field, playing pretty well, um, and actually now I have a you know. Probably be on an NFL roster, hopefully next, next this time next year. Wow, Med, medical school football, medical school football. <laughs> uh, let, let, let me ask you about the draft itself, Big Daddy. Tell us how you first saw this round playing out, and uh, your observations here. Well, uh, let me first start off by saying, as a former offensive lineman, I'm very impressed by that young man and uh, I would love to see him hit that tennis racket like they say he's got game. That has to be <laughs> one of the things that has to impress all those scouts and GMs out there. But uh, you know being out here the whole buzz is uh, obviously the two quarterbacks which actually I got to spend time with last night and everyone's, wearing it. everyone's trying to make a deal to get up and get uh, Ezekiel Elliott the running back from Ohio State. So you know you, you might see a couple other teams trade their futures to go up and move up slots to go get this player. Garrick, in the NFL in the draft, we see this on a regular basis, as Big Daddy's just talking about, the trading up to get yeah. a number one pick. But it's an, uh, it's an unproven talent, essentially. Football, yeah. more than any other sport that we follow here in the States, the greatest jump between college and the pros. Bigger, faster, stronger, the game really picks up. We've seen mm -hmm. number one overall picks. Dagan, we were chatting the other day I just, about I've Todd compared, Marinovich. Compared uh, Johnny, Johnny Manziel, Manziel to you know, Todd Marinovich. Uh, but. <laughs> there have been several guys who are in the NFL. You know, we, we have 16 Hall of Famers mm -hmm. who were free agents, didn't even yeah. get drafted into the NFL. How important is it really to get that early first round pick aside from the money? I don't think so important because uh, when it comes down to it, uh, and my, my agent Shane Costa, he he's he's kind of it's tough coming through the, going through the process because no one who's who's gone through it has has any experience in it, you know. Um, so he's just basically been telling me, you know, the work isn't done on draft day; it's done after draft day, you know, before leading up to and after draft day. You still have to make the team. You still have to put in the work to make that transition. Um, so I, I think whether you're you know, maybe the first round, second round, third round guys have um, an easier, an easier go at it. 